based out of India and are looking to apply for a US ITIN or a US individual taxpayer identification number, well, my team and I at USA Tax Gurus, we can definitely help you with this. Um, we are, I am a CPA, Certified Public Accountant, and uh, you know, we're running a remote US tax and accounting firm called USA Tax Gurus LLC. And we are also an IRS CAA, which is a Certified Acceptance Agent. Um, you can find our details on our website, which is usataxgurus.com, um, or you can go to the IRS website and we're listed there as well. So acceptance agents in India, um, you know, USA Tax Gurus LLC, you can find us there. But it's a 100% remote firm. Uh, we have presence both in the US and in India, right? So today we will cover a little bit about, um, you know, when will you need an ITIN and how do you apply for one? So um, a lot of, um, most of the most of the times when people come to us for applying for an ITN, it is probably because they have a U.S. business and they're looking to, um, you know, get a U.S. bank account. Um, the other reason why they need this is usually when they're married to a U.S. person, a U.S. resident, a U.S. citizen, um, and they need help with, uh, you know, filing a U.S. tax return to claim themselves as a dependent on the U.S. person's return. Right, so those are the two major reasons why people, um, you know, need uh, an ITIN. We're looking at the W-7 form. Uh, this is something that you will definitely have to complete um, if you're applying for an ITIN. The two main reasons that I said, you know, one is the spouse of a U.S. citizen or a resident alien, right? So otherwise, if you have, if you're running a U.S. business, then you know we will go with the exception edge, which is other, and we mentioned that you're a business owner in a US company, all of those things, right? So these are the two major reasons why people apply for ITIN, especially from India. Um, you know, all our clients, they've been mostly in these two categories. As you can read here, if you check boxes B, C, D, E, F, or G, right? So basically or any of these boxes, B through G, right? You will need a US federal income tax return, right? Which is a form 1040 or a 1040 NR, right? So any of these reasons, you will need that tax return. There's no way to apply for a w, uh, an ITIN on a W-7 um, without that tax return, right? Which means that if you're a spouse of a US person, we will probably need their details as well. Um, and, you know, we will combine um, all the income, file the tax returns um, and provide you with, um, do the entire process. The other way we can do this is if you have a US business, right, which is a US LLC, a US C corporation, then you may qualify for this exception, right? So I can quickly show you where this comes from. So if you go to the IRS W-7 instructions, um, you know, these are the exception tables, something that will go in um, in this H. So a lot of people who are running US businesses from India, from other countries, they may qualify for this exception, which individuals who are partners of a US or a foreign partnership that invests in US assets, right? So if you're a US business, a US LLC, um, you know, the documentation that we can submit with the W-7 will be a copy of uh, the portion of the partnership or the LLC agreement displaying the partnerships or LLC's EIN number, right? And showing that you're a partner in this US company. If you're a US C Corp, um, you know, we may have to draft up additional documentation to show that, you know, you're supposed to receive dividends and you may qualify for an exception 1D, which is, um, you know, an individual who is receiving distributions uh, during the tax year uh, for any royalties, dividends, etc. right? So if you're a shareholder in a US corporation, which is a C Corp, you will get a dividends, right? So dividends, um, then you will qualify for exception 1D, right? So either, you know, you have a US spouse or you have a US business, right? If you have a US business, then you will qualify for this exception H and you don't need a US income tax return, but you will still need um, to present all the additional documents for the US business to show that, um, you know, why, why you should be getting this ITIN. So now coming on to what's the process, right? Either um, you can complete this documentation yourself, attach all the documents and, um, you know, mail out your documents to the IRS. Just be a little careful because you will have to mail your original passport or a certified copy. And I wouldn't really recommend that because you're shipping your passport overseas uh, to the IRS. It's gonna take them two to three months to process it. And then after that, they will ship it back. If you don't want to go through this process, you can definitely hire us as certified acceptance agents and we can do this entire process for you.